close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Don't wander away. If the mind wanders away, just drop whatever it's wandering after and you'll be right back at the breath. Because the breath is your guarantee that you're in the present moment, so you want to be in touch with it at all times. Even when you're watching your mind, you want to have the breath as a fence to make sure that the thoughts and the observations don't get carried away and pulling you away from the present moment, because it's right at the present moment that you want to see things. Because there is this moment of freedom right here. You have freedom of choice, and this is the spot where it is. If you want to understand freedom of the mind in the largest sense, you first have to start exploring this freedom, the freedom to take whatever potentials are coming in from your past actions and make something good out of them. That's one kind of freedom. That's the freedom that we're going to be exploring here as you meditate. The breath comes in, the breath goes out. You can make it breathe, the body breathe in all kinds of ways. You have that freedom. And you have the freedom of where you're going to focus your attention and what you're going to do with the sense of ease that comes when the breath starts feeling good. You think of the ease spreading through the body. That's something else you can choose. There are lots of choices you can make here in the present moment. And there's this you might say that it's kind of a, a, a riddle that the Buddha poses. Okay, there is karma coming in from the past, but for some reason you've got this freedom of choice here. Well, look into that. Explore that to see how skillful you can be in the choices you make. And as you look into that freedom, it opens up to a much larger freedom. It's beyond just freedom of choice. It's total freedom from any kind of suffering at all. So this is where you look for it. And so the guarantee that you're going to be right at the right spot is when you're with the breath. So always make sure that if the breath isn't right in the foreground, it's there in the background. And that keeps you anchored to see what's going on in the present moment and where your choices lie. You follow those choices, try to make them more and more skillful, more and more refined. And as I said, it opens to a, another freedom that's even greater. So it's all right here. It's just a matter of really looking carefully and continually so that you can see it. And you see it by exercising what freedom you do notice you have. 